Hello, this is week 15 of a 52-week series on what every web administrator needs to know to be successful in this space. My name is Scott Forsyth, and today I want to talk to you about applications versus virtual directories and the four IIS folder types. Questions regarding applications and virtual directories comes up fairly often in forums when I talk to people directly. So today I wanted to dig in and really try to understand the differences between the two. So what are they? Why does it matter? And how do I know which to use in my situation? I'll move through this quite quickly today, but let me start with the basics. And so if we start with the folder here, or actually a site, Contosa.com, and let's go to explore this. And you can see we have some basic things. I put a couple images in and a couple files. Now this is a flat structure. We don't have any folder at all. So let's create a folder called images and let's move our two images over. So really folders are used for structure. This is very basic stuff here and I have images in it. So if I go to localhost slash images.aspx we can see the pretty page we have here. And so let's drop this into images and I can actually go to the subfolder and reference it with images.aspx. So this is the first of our four types of folders. Just a plain simple folder. It's used for organization. You can reference it directly or you can reference it indirectly by calling it in other ways. Now an application folder is something else and this is used if you want to create a boundary of some type. So now if I Let's go into Contosa.com and we're going to create a new folder. Let's call this Site2. We've created ourselves another site. Inside we'll pretend we have a bunch of different files here relating to our site. And what we want to do is create an application boundary to separate this somewhat from the rest of the site. And that's where this comes in. So I'll go here and hit F5 to refresh. You can see the Site2 appears. Now if I right click, notice we have a Convert to Application option. And this allows us to take a normal type folder and promote it up to an application or an application boundary. Now we have the option of dropping it into a different app pool. So it can be separated as an app domain or you can actually separate it into its own app pool for various reasons. I'll cover those in a few minutes here. And notice the physical path that this is is the root folder plus the subfolder underneath. This wizard doesn't allow us to change this because it's an application, not a virtual directory. Okay, so now we created that. Notice the icon changes. And now we have a boundary difference between the main site and the rest. In fact, I'll include a link here to my app domain video. I encourage you to take a look at that video if you haven't seen it already. And understanding an app domain is really important, especially in the ASP.NET space here. Now a virtual directory is something different again. And there's two types of virtual directories even. So a virtual directory comes in handy where we want to point to a different physical path on disk. Notice that site 2 here is directly under our site root. But let's say we go back to inetpub and we're going to create shared content that two or three or four sites might want to use. And in here we can create whatever file. Let's actually create default.aspx and what does say? This is shared. So now what we want to be able to do is call that as if it's a subfolder of the site, even though it's pointing to something else on disk. And we can do that with add virtual directory here. So add virtual directory. We can give it a friendly name. Let's just call it, let's be real original and call it shared. And for the physical path, we can navigate to it. And we'll go to our pub and our shared content. And we hit OK. And now, notice that we have, it looks like it's a folder physically underneath, but of course if we navigate to Contoso, there's no shared here because it's a virtual directory, not a physical directory. But notice as far as a web browser is concerned, it appears as if it's a physical folder. So now we're going to go here to shared, and notice this is shared. Now the fourth type is really just an application and a vdir combined. So notice here that, first let me talk a little bit further about this. Notice that our shared vdir is not also marked as an application. Therefore it shares the same app domain and app pool as the root site, the contosa.com. So it just, it really seems like a physical folder but it's pointing to something else on disk. But what we can also do is go back here to our shared folder and actually let's just call this shared content 
two, and we'll create a vdir, a vdir here. And let's just call this vdir2. And now what we can also do is convert this to an application, which essentially points to another location on disk and also creates the application boundary for it. So in essence, that's really the difference between the four folders. Now the question is, when would we use each of them? And let me cap up a couple guidelines here for you. So when would we use a vdir versus when would we use an application? So a virtual directory, pretty straightforward. We would really only use it if you want to point to a different physical path on disk. And I try to avoid that as much as possible. There's just a little bit more to manage. It's not X copyable. There's a little bit more configuration up at IIS to make sure you're always mapping those. Uh, that said, there's very legitimate reasons for it. There's times where you want to share content between sites, or especially if you want to point out to a UNC path for just part of your site. There you could also do that. The virtual directory doesn't have to be on the local disk. Now an application creates that boundary, again, that I talked about in the previous video, and you can use it for a new application route. For example, if you create something with its own bin folders or app underscore folders, the application special folders, they want to appear as if they're a root of an application. So I call that marking a folder as an application. You can also do it if you want app domain isolation for just a little bit more protection between sites for whatever reason. And but more common too is if you want it in a new app pool. Let's say part of your site is in one framework version and the other part you're upgrading to a new framework version or downgrading for compatibility reasons. And in that case, you can put it in its own app pool. Now let's also take a look behind the scenes at our app host config and just see what that looks like. Application host config our sites, and Contosa. So notice what we've done here is we have an application boundary, and this of course was all generated automatically with IS Manager, and we have the root path, we have an application boundary for site2 and an application boundary for our, our vdir2. And in our root application we actually have two physical paths, one pointing to our www root and one pointing to the shared content. So really they're exactly the same just pointing to two different folders. And it really doesn't matter where on disk or even across the network that we point them to. Now notice the difference here between our two different types. This one here was simply a folder marked as an application, site2, and the one that's a vdir pointing to a different folder. They're really identical, except that one is pointing to a folder under the root of the site, and one is pointing to a folder elsewhere. And so really, our second and fourth type are essentially the same. An application folder or a vdir pointing to another physical location also marked as an application you can see here are really the same and that's why the icon is the same. The other question comes with removing them and it's kind of odd wording. If you right click on a folder marked as an application you see this remove and remember the first couple times I went to click on that I was scared it was going to actually delete the folder but it doesn't. It removes the application part. So if I hit remove and hit yes then it, it removes, well that was a vdir, so it completely removed all reference to it. Now site2, if I remove it, there it will remove the application part, leaving the physical folder behind. And again, for this vdir, as you would assume, if we remove that, it completely deletes all references to it. So there we have it. We see our four different types of folders, and the differences between them, and also why we want to use a virtual directory versus an application. Thanks for tuning in. Hope to see you again next week.